Yep, I just fell in the creek. <laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm down here at the creek. Gonna do a lure review on the Nico Waxworm. So, pretty excited about this one. It looks like a pretty sick lure. I'll show it here in a minute. Uh, the spot that I'm going to, I haven't fished in a while, but there's a lot of panfish there. I know they got some sunfish. They'll have some rock bass for sure. There's uh, a, some smallmouth, potentially some largemouth, and we might have a couple holdover trout. So we'll see what we get into. All right, y'all. So I wanted to give you a look at this Nico Waxworm. This is what it looks like. I've got a Ned rig on a 164 ounce jig head. That works pretty well for me in this creek, that 164 ounce. It gives it just enough weight so that I can cast it, get it out there, and um, it's not so heavy that it sinks right to the bottom. It'll move with the current. So it sinks kind of lightly rather than falling straight down. So we'll see how this works out. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I got a little bit to walk before I get to my spot. Before I get to the primary spot, I'll be fishing. So I'm just going to start throwing some cast in as I'm walking because I got to go downstream a bit and uh, we'll see if we can catch anything. We catch rock bass so first fish on the day um, like I said I'm just walking to the spot that I'm actually gonna fish it's a pretty decent sized rock bass so uh, right off the bat I thought this lure is gonna be good for pan fish and uh, yeah it delivered on a nice guy right there it's pretty dark pretty dark fish Well, we're on the board with the smallmouth. How about that little guy? But wow, that was pretty quick. Pretty little guy, small. See you later, bud. All right, y'all. So honestly, I thought this was going to catch uh Mostly sunfish, but it, and but it already caught a smallmouth and a rock bass, so that's pretty cool. All right, y'all. This spot here is where I was wanted to get to, and this is really where the fishing used to be and started. I haven't fished here in a while, but there used to be a lot of panfish in this region. So we're gonna walk up a bit more, but should start to get a lot more bites. Some really good rock cover down here. Had one there. Had one there. Missed one. Missed one again. Didn't miss that one. I missed a couple in there. That's what I was thinking. We catch some of these red breasts here for show. Decent sized female there. Let's get this back in here. I think I, I missed about, I don't know, it seemed like three fish in there. I don't know if they just weren't hitting or I was just missing them. They were just, you know, knocking it. There was a hit. Had one there. That was a rock bass. Could tell by the way he's swimming in. <laughs> All right. There we go. There's another rock bass. He's a good size too. Ooh, something bit him on the back there. Let's 
So th I know this this area is pretty um, pretty good for rock bass. They're pretty affluent. Affluent? Affluent? I don't even know what the word is. There's a lot of them in this area. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and this waxworm's catching them, so that's kind of cool. This is another smallmouth. I mean, the tiniest little smallmouth ever. How about that? So look, I know that's a small fish, um, but I, I'm, it, it's kind of cool to see them hitting this. I didn't, I didn't know how this would work for smallmouth, but it seems like it's, it's catching some. It's definitely catching some, so that's cool. It's actually catching the bass pretty good. Surprised we're not getting more bites from the sunfish, so we'll keep going here and see if, uh, if we can turn that bite on a little bit. Is it sunny? Nice size male. Red breast. What did we just catch? Rock bass. Littler one, he's probably the smallest one today. See you later, bud. Yeah. I got this thing barely hooked. And he's the smallest sunfish ever. See you bud. Another sunny. See you later, bud. Some of these guys are hitting pretty shallow. A lot of these sunfish. All right. Let's try this. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of fish out there. A lot of sunfish, I should say. All right, y'all. Well, that concludes my video overview of the Nico Waxworm. So again, I have this on a 164 ounce jig head and I use the Ned Rig style to rig it. Um, I was out here for about 45 minutes and caught over 10 sunfish. They're all red breasts. That's primarily what's in my creek. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna include every single catch that I had with the red breast just because it might get repetitive, but I would think I caught probably in between 10 and 20. I'm not sure exactly how many. 
Uh, as far as rock bass, I caught three or four of those. So obviously y'all saw them in the video and it caught two smallmouth, which was pretty cool. Wasn't sure if it was gonna catch smallmouth or not. So it was neat to see that they were hitting on that. And I know they were smaller, but my crick has smaller smallmouth in it. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any real big, huge giants or we do, but they're few and far between. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if y'all like these lore reviews, let me know and, and I'll keep doing them. So I would say, you know, the Nico Waxworm's pretty cheap. It's worth, uh, worth adding it to your tackle box just to have another item in your arsenal. Thanks for watching, y'all.